In this example, we want to find an equation of the tangent line to the graph of the given function at the given point here, okay? So the first thing is we need to find the derivative of h with respect to t. Once we find that, then we need to evaluate the derivative at t equals to pi. And then from there, we can find the equation of the tangent line at pi. And let's assume that uh, our equation of the tangent line is going to be in the form of y equals mx plus b, which is the slope-intercept form. Okay, so first let's find the derivative of h with respect to t. So we have h prime of t, okay? So we're going to take the derivative of sine, which is cosine. So we have cosine t, and then take the derivative of 1 half e to the t. So 1 half is a constant, okay? And, right, so if you have a, remember, if you have a constant involved, you can just take it outside the differential operator. So it's going to be 1 half, and the derivative of e to the t is just e to the t. So we get 1 half e to the t, okay? So that's the derivative of our function, okay? So now we evaluate the derivative at t equals pi. So we're going to have h prime of pi equal to cosine pi plus 1 half e to the pi. So cosine pi, okay, that's going to be negative 1. So we have minus 1 plus 1 half e to the pi. Okay. So that is our um, that is our slope. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is our slope at or that's going to be our slope of the tangent line at pi. Okay. All right. So now we can find the equation of the tangent line. Okay. So let's um, so what I'm going to do here is use the point slope form, and then from there we can rewrite this in terms of the slope intercept form okay okay so we can use this point slope form of a line okay so we already found our slope okay remember that was right, that's our m value okay okay so we're going to have y minus y1 okay so pi is x1 and this is y1 so we're going to get y minus one half e to the pi equals to our slope which is minus one plus one half e to the pi times x minus pi okay so now we what we need to do is uh, we want to uh, write this in the slope-intercept form. Okay, so write it in this form here. Okay, so we just need to basically isolate y. Okay, so we're going to get y equals to minus 1 plus 1 half e to the pi times x minus pi plus one half e to the pi. So just adding one half e to the pi on both sides. So now what we can do here is uh, we're gonna go ahead and distribute, right, we're gonna go ahead and distribute this. So that we can get our, uh, so that we can get the equation of line in, in the form of the slope intercept form, okay? Okay, so we're going to have y equals to, uh, we have minus x. Okay, so actually, um, okay, so we can keep, so we can keep minus 1 plus 1 half e to the pi. So that's going to be, so we can take this and distribute all that to x. And then, we can distribute the other part to pi. So we're going to have negative 1 times minus pi. That will give us pi. And then we have 1 half e to the pi times negative pi. So we're going to get minus 1 half pi 
times e to the pi, and then we have one half e to the pi remaining. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Okay. So now we basically have our form. We have our solution here. So this is just right. This is just our slope. Okay. So this is m, and this is this is b. Okay. That is the uh, that's going to be the y-intercept for this for the equation for this equation of the tangent line. Okay. So that is our solution. Okay, so that is the, again, that is the equation of the tangent line to this curve, okay, to the uh, function, to our curve, which is a function of h, right, at, or, I'm sorry, this is the equation of the tangent line to the graph of h at x equals to pi, okay.